I'm here with Ken. He's going to tell me a little bit about his uh, Kugel wagon here, his little Volkswagen. He can tell me the year and uh, some of the nice little history about it. 1941 Kugel wagon. And how long have you had this? Ten years. And these are powered by a what, 1600? Was it a Porsche motor? Was it a Porsche motor? VW Porsche motor. And uh, he's got uh, the nice spare tire on the front. It's got the is a fuel tank I'm assuming right here. Yeah. And uh, shovel. I like the very aggressive tire. It's got the hubcaps. Does that make it an earlier one? So, so the earlier ones have the hubcaps. And uh, inside, it's uh, nice and luxurious. Yeah. Come around back here. We'll check out this. Uh, see what we got in the back. A big power plant for it. Whopping 26 horsepower. You hear that? 26 horsepower for this beast. It's good enough to get them down the road, though. And uh, as you've seen from uh, many years later, uh, this drivetrain and everything is similar to what goes in the Beatles, the guys go off road with. So they make uh, great off road vehicles, great war vehicles. They're lightweight. How much do these weigh? like 1500 pounds so very light so easy for them to transport they won't get stuck very easy nice and simple air-cooled motor very easy to work on yeah inside they don't have too much they uh they got this speedometer in the center we have the air conditioning on now with the top down so. <laughs> ac's on it looks like it's got an optimistic 100 kilometers an hour yeah it's 60. <laughs> and uh here in the back I see a Mauser, but I see something a little unique down here too. What is uh, uh PPSH41? PPSH41. And uh, oh, it's a Russian. Okay, so it's uh, he's grabbed it up from the Russians. So, what caliber does that shoot? That is a 7.62, I believe. Ah, 7.62 by uh, 57 or? Okay. Pretty neat. You guys have a lot of neat stuff here. You get a chance to make it out to one of the reenactments here in Ohio. Uh, which other reenactments do you make it to? Uh, D-Day. Uh, oh, D-Day one? Some in uh, Pennsylvania. There's a real nice one in Titusville train at a train station there. And uh, we've got the switch here for the those that high powered spotlight yeah these guys uh do nice reproduction on their plates and all their deep or yep. paint marks authentic and they got pretty authentic uh they got the horn and we've got uh more labels so they knew who you belonged with and uh looks like this is their first aid even yes so uh this guy's all ready to go